What is going on everybody? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to Hard Cap Games. Another episode here on the channel today of Pokemon Y Randomizer. Now we are trying to blow through this game because Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are less than three weeks away at this point. Today is November 1st when I'm recording this. Uh, I'm actually going to be splitting this episode up over the course of two days. So you guys are going to see this one hopefully on Thursday. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new because you don't want to miss any of the action on this series or on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With that being said, Let's do a very, very fast team recap, and then we have a lot to get going on today. So, first up, level 26, Slytherin or Arbok, holding Thief, Crunch, Acid, and Glare. Neutral Nature with Intimidate. Uh, get Lipra, our starter, Litwick with Flame Body. Um, this is Brave Nature, Flame Burst, Hex, Confuse Ray, and Will-O-Wisp. Vulcan, holding the King's Rock right now to give him a little bit of crit damage. Yeah, a little more crit uh, Blaze, Flame Wheel, Quick Attack, Smoke Screen, and Cut right now. Axel, our Swamp Bird, who's basically our starter at this point. He's the best member of our team. Strength, Mud Shot, Mud Bomb, Water Gun. Wireless, the Verizion. Verizion Wireless over here. Um, quick Attack, Magical Leaf, Double Kick, Stone Edge, and Rip Jaw, the Sharpedo, holding the Rocky Helmet with Rough Skin for double damage. Bite, Assurance, Ice Fang, Rock Smash, gonna learn Crunch in one level. So, what are we doing today? Well, by the end of this episode, uh, I actually had, I wrote it out on my phone. I know what every episode for the rest of the series is going to be as long as we beat the series. If we win this Nuzlocke, there will be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more episodes of this. So, um, ending theoretically on the uh, Wednesday before Scarlet Violet come up. So, um, today, this episode, this episode is going to end in Coomerine City. That seems super far away. That's because it is. I'm going to be playing a lot. I'm going to be probably not commentating all of it. I will commentate the stuff that's important. But um, you're going to see me jumping around a lot because we have a lot to take care of. For instance, I need to get a fishing encounter out here. This is our Salage City encounter right now. If it ever wants to actually come through. This is our first encounter of the day. We're going to have a couple more going on today. We have a couple of caves to go through. Uh, I have the walkthrough also pulled up. So I know exactly where we have to go and wh what my encounters are. Come on. There we go. Alright, Coomerine City Encounter. Solar City Encounter. It's a stunky. Stunky. Stunky, stunky, stunky. So it is level 15. I'm just going to quick ball this thing. I'm not afraid of a stunky. I don't really feel like messing around with stunky. So we're just going to quick ball it. One, two, three. Got him. Uh oh. Stunky. So, at this point in time, our job is to head north. Uh, we need to head out in this direction. There's a couple, couple guys we gotta fight while we're here. A couple items we can pick up. We're just gonna take care of it all. Electric gem, not bad. Team Flare is here. We do have to battle Team Flare. Team Flare member one. Not getting the amulet coin back at Parfum Palace kind of stinks. Another Rocky Helmet. So why are we coming back this way? Well, I, I wanted to heal, but I also wanted to grab the TM that's in this part of town. I forgot about the TM that's uh, north of where we got our Marowak encounter. All right, we finally finished this puzzle here. And the TM that normally is Thunder Wave is... Home Claws. No way! Hold on. A Mewtwo Knight X? That's crazy. There were tepigs in this grass. Oh no, that stinks. Alright, later. You know what I just realized? I didn't ever start my timer. So let me figure out where I was at the end of last episode. 6.39.39 and we are at this point 20 minutes later. Almost exactly. So let's just start at 640. Zero, 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 zero. Let's go with that. She's got a Celebi. I'm going to Flare Burst it. I don't feel confident enough staying with Vulcan to take out the Celebi here. I could go for Hex. Now I can't. Flame burst. Kill it. Didn't. 
Lampent? No, you're not even. You're a Litwick. Litwick. <laughs> Kill. Nice. All right, we're almost to the next town. Next town is just straight ahead. We'll be able to heal up there. So this guy should be giving me a TM, I believe. Payback. Nice. All right, I spent all of our money on new amenities. This is an item. Silk scarf. Hey, that's pretty good. I, I'm a casual silk scarf enjoyer. Hey, Calum. Was someone here? No, he left. I wonder where he went. Oh, look at that. It's a dead end. Definitely not a door behind there. A cherish ball. Interesting. All right. Next thing we have to do is battle our friend over here, who we're going to see a lot of in this episode. A Celio. Okay. So I actually, I don't know if I necessarily love it the right one. And now I always forget because I'm silly. Is ice weak to rock or ground? Rock. Okay. So I do have actually the wrong Pokemon out right now. She's got a Rayquaza. Of course she has a Rayquaza. The only way we can beat a Rayquaza here is by using Ice Fang. So we're staying in the Ripjaw, we're going for Ice Fang, and hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm Encored in. Well, it's a stab at least. It's at least stab, but it's not best case scenario here. That's best case scenario. Well, it's now it. Defense dropped. Defense dropped. Ripjaw. Ripjaw's clutch. Love Ripjaw. Our whole team is so over leveled. Yeah. Yep. So now we're going to go into the reflection cave where we get to pick up two more encounters now. Route 11 and the actual cave itself. But we're going to heal our Pokemon first after taking on a Rayquaza. Now remember, play number one when we do these is always to put our friend Slytherin in front to get a glare off if it is appropriate. And if not, we just swap into whatever is more appropriate. Here we go, Route 11 encounter. What is it? That sounds strong. Camera up, eh. It's kind of strong. Um, will camera, camera up know magnitude at this level? Because if it does, oh yeah, it definitely, it knows magnitude for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, well then you gotta get out of here, Slytherin. Wow, my only safe swap is Ripjaw. Huh, okay. Well, I guess I'll assurance it probably. Or I can go for, I can go for Rock Smash. It's a ground type, I can Rock Smash it. Yeah, I can do that again. I'll do it one more time. Don't do that. Don't, don't do Amnesia. Actually, you can do Amnesia, that's fine. So now you're low, and I can throw... I'm gonna throw a Great Ball at it, because it is an evolved Pokemon. So it might be a little tougher to catch. So I'll use a Great Ball on it. The Pokeballs at this point are really for, like, when we encounter... Nice. When we encounter, like, Caterpie. Or just unevolved Pokemon in general. That aren't Pseudos or Starters. Call it Dromedary. Of course you have a Cobalion. Why wouldn't you have a Cobalion? Well, good thing I have the one that's strong against Cobalion. Yeah, look at you. Look at us. We're pretty special, aren't we? Good thing this is quad effective. That does nothing. Oh no, whatever will I do? It has gone for Leer. Please just hit the double kick so I don't eat my own words. Thanks. Nice job. Nice job, Rizion. Woo! Another fossil! Oh my god! Do we go back and revive it? Do we go back and revive that right now? We haven't gotten a skull fossil yet, right? We got a jaw of root and an old man amber. Oh my god. I, th I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta run back and go grab another fossil. Alright. So we do have this fossil here now. It is a skull fossil. And let's see what it turns into. Randomly found on the side of the road. Because randomized items. This Cranidos has been turned into a... Oh, Bufalant. Eh, I thought that was going to be more exciting. Came all the way back here for a Bufalant. Is Bufalant shiny? No. 
All right, this TM, which in most cases is rock polish, is actually Shadow Ball. Oh my god, it's game over, guys. It's game over. Who needs who needs hex, honestly? Who needs hex when you have a consistent 80? Don't no no need to play games. Hardstone, not bad. We are officially heading into Reflection Cave. So I'm going to save my game. I'm gonna walk inside. And we are going to get our encounter here. Right away. It is. Hello. Um. So I have to I have to beat it up a little bit. Water gun will definitely kill. I think it's more of a gamble to go into somebody else. Because my only other switch is Ripjaw, and I have to go for Assurance or Slash. But, Ripjaw's defense is terrible. So if he goes for anything of any importance, Ripjaw's goner. So I think I have to just chance a, a times four not effective strength here. And I have to pray this doesn't kill, because Rhyperior is really good, and I want Rhyperior. Oh, that's just nothing. Never mind. What am I talking about? All right, we just can't get killed by Stomp. Uh, I'm gonna go for Mudshot, actually. Good thing I'm not getting another encounter for a while. I'm gonna burn through all my Pokeballs at this rate. Never mind, we got it. Sweet! Rhyperior. Now, R Eviolite Rhydon is way better than Rhyperior, but Rhyperior is no slouch. Oh my god, I learned so many moves. Oh, Rock I forgot about Rock Wrecker, honestly. Uh, Mega, Mega Horn, Horn Drill, Poison Jab. It learns by level up Rock Blast, Hammer Arm, Drill Run, Stone Edge, Earthquake. It's a good Pokemon. It's a really good Pokemon. Uh, this is Grace Senior. Remember, we already had... Oh, that's right. This is technically dupes. My Nuzlocke, my rules. We didn't have a way of getting... Okay, here's the rule. We didn't have a way of getting Rhyperior. There was no way for us to get Rhyperior. So uh, it's kind of its own standalone thing. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I click the box for it to be savable. Or like, like everything will evolve by itself. We'll find out when... Um, we'll find out through Lampant, I guess. But we're, for now, we're going to keep Grace Senior. If... If, if it... Okay. We're going to write a note in here. Okay, I've written a note next to Rhyperior. If turns out that trade evolutions are forced, like they just happen naturally, we will re-roll. And we will get another encounter in Reflection Cave. But for now, this is Grace Senior. Uh, I'm just going to keep it in the box until that happens so that I don't get to profit off of it. Unless, and here's the other option, I catch the next thing too? And I box both and put them both in their own box. That might be the best option. I think that's the best option. I'm going to do that. I'm going to catch whatever our encounter would have been if it wasn't a Rhyperior. I'm going to catch it. I'm just going to do it right now. And then I'll put them both in their own box. What? How do I deal with these? How do I deal with these fools? Okay, so it's a Dragonite Horde. This one's giving me a weird look. I, okay, so I, I guess we just catch one of these Dragonites if we can, right? We, ca we catch it if we can. And then we just check out later. Is it is it a legal encounter? I should have written down all the changes I made, but I forgot. And then I exported, and then I started recording. That was my fault. If I can, I'll catch this Dragonite, I'll put it in the Rhyperior in its own box, and then once we figure out what happens with Lampant, if it just randomly evolves into a Chandelure, then I'll release the Dragonite. I'll just keep it in the box. And the reason I'm saying that is because if we could have evolved Grace, that is technically dupes, and this would be our dupes reroll. So I'm going to try and catch it. Just in case it is, and it does turn out that we have already met dupes clause and we can't use the Rhyperior. 
But Nuzlocke rules still apply. If I fail this encounter, then I don't have a reroll. Cool, we got it. We have a Dragonite. Call it Kairu because I love the Japanese name for it. I think it just sounds super cool. Oh, we could have had Duosian. Oh, I would have loved a Duosian. So I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to move them over to box three. I'm going to rename this box three to dupes question mark there we go if we don't find out then we've got a dragonite sitting and a rhyperior sitting in the box one of them can be used it is technically the rhyperior first because that was our real encounter but i don't know which one is our legal encounter yet we go up here there's an item we can collect the splash plate we'll, we'll hold on to it for now we'll hold on to it for now I think it and the Mystic Water do about the same thing. There's Larvitars in here. Why couldn't I have just gotten the Larvitar? We could have had our own Nuzlocke killer. The Zap Plate is here too? Same spot. Hello! Okay. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Oh, I read it wrong. It's a bird. Why is God here? Why is God here? Dude, I hate this place. Let me go. I don't want to fight you. I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. What is this cave, dude? What on earth is this cave? Regigigas? Arceus? Curum? And I got Rhyperior. I, I gotta go buy repels or something. Buying four super potions. If we get a Genesect, we have a water type Genesect. If you head this way though, you can see that there's a cave here, and inside this cave here is a TM, and this TM is Aerial Ace. Hey, there's there's some flying coverage there. Anyone want to learn Aerial Ace while we're at it? Vrizian wants to learn Aerial Ace. Who normally sits here? Is that where you get um I don't know who you normally get here? Axel grew to level 36. He's gotten like eight levels today, by the way. In this episode, he's gotten eight levels. Look at him go. Now we get to really confirm, did I set it to random evolutions or not? Take it away. Swampert, 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 Swampert. Let's go. Okay. We officially made it to Shalur City. I'm going to come forward. I'm going to run into the Pokemon Center. I'm going to heal. And then my shirt is going to change because I'm going to stop recording right now. And I'm going to start recording for tomorrow when I record again. So let me just save again. I'm going to pause that there. And I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, we are back. It is actually two calendar days later. It is Thursday morning right now. I took the day off so I can uh, clean the house a little bit and I decided I'm gonna record right now a little bit as well. You guys actually might be seeing this in a couple of hours, who knows? So our plan right now is we are going to go and take care of some business. We gotta get this going too. Can't forget about that for a second episode in a row. All right, pulling something up. Shalur City Encounter is... A Dedenne! Okay, that's not bad. I'm definitely way over leveled for this thing. Alright, cool. Not Pikachu. The fl- oh my god, the flame plate. Oh, hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. Just gotta give that to get lit, bruh. Alright, we're about to take on Kalem now. They finally decided to stop talking. That was like, that was like six minutes. <laughs> At least it felt like it. It was probably closer to two. But we're going to battle Kalem now to grab our Mega Evolution Bracelet. 
in entering our eighth hour. We are just getting our mega band. Nice. Caleb's a loser. Goral is a winner. Well, now that I'm done wasting my time with that crap, let's go take on a gym. Let's go do the interesting thing. So I'm pretty sure we do need to beat all the trainers in here just so that we can raise up the things we can go balance him or battle him, I should say. Yeah, you know, I'm deciding I'm going to turn the EXP share off. I think it's breaking this a little bit, at least for now. Once we hit a point where like we're back on par with other members with like, like the rest of the game, then I'll probably turn it back on for a bit. But I think just right now, like going through a gym like this where we're already over leveled, I don't think it makes sense to just have it on. And honestly, it might be cheating for it to have been on up until this point. But because he's just our best member, I'm just going to lead with Axel. Vulcan 2 will eventually evolve. It might be right now. He might he might be a 34. If he's not a 34, he's a 36. They might have standardized it all to 36 for the starters. I don't remember. Yeah, they did. All right. We are officially ready to take on Karina. They're all level... 30 something they should be like level 31 so we're like six levels over <laughs> leader karina she got to... she came to play today she came to play good thing i led with axel otherwise we'd be done for 29 turbo blaze restaurant okay axel you have to hit mud bomb cool does a little over half. I don't know what you're imprisoning, but okay. Hit it again. Nice job, Axel. Nice job. Okay, Reshiram gone. <laughs> I can clickbait this. <laughs> We've seen a lot of legends in this episode. A <laughs> Caterpie? Oh my, so I, I know I did set it that by level 45, gyms will all have fully evolved Pokemon. It wasn't 45, it was 50. So like by like the end of the game. Dead, dead Caterpie. All right, and there's one more, and then we get to go get our Mega Band. It's a Cricketot. You started off so strong with a Reshiram, and you have two dumb little bugs. Look at Vulcan go though, picking up massive damage. There you go. Good job. <laughs> that was such a lame gym battle. <laughs> she started off with a Reshiram. That battle's harder not randomized. With her Lucha and her Lucario, that, that's way harder not randomized. Cool. Rumble badge. I can use Surf now. Power up punch is pretty good. Now here's a major roadblock. We have to beat her in order to progress through the story so like if if it might have randomized the megas that we get i think i think i might have clicked the box that said for them for this mega battle specifically replace megas with megas so i mean we could get a mewtwo and she could get an audino but we could also get an audino and she could get a Mewtwo. But if it didn't randomize it and it kept it as two Lucarios, the play is to just power up punch, power up punch, and you win the game. So I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we have to win this battle. Maybe we don't. But it's it's us. It's this one Pokemon versus her one Pokemon. This music's cool. No, she got a seal. <laughs> and we got a Blastoise. Okay. Um, did it give us the ability to, we can mega evolve. <laughs> she can't mega evolve. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then this is, this is easy mode then. Yeah, let's mega evolve. Let's go. Let's go. I wanted to grab my thumbnail. And I'm going to Aqua Tail you back. And that should... Yeah, pretty much... Yeah, it's a crit. Okay. I'm going to go for it again. Nice. <laughs> that was easy. 
Love it. So wait, is she gonna give us a Blastoise? She's gonna give us a Pokemon right now. She's gonna give us this Lucario. But is it a Blastoise? Yeah, let's let's take it along. Yes. My party is full. Um, alright, we'll come back for you, Slytherin. It is a Blastoise! Okay! Okay. I'm gonna call him Big Turt. So I'm wondering, is he holding his Mega Stone? Because if he is, he might no well. The thing is we have so many water types on our team already. Is he holding his Mega Stone? And he's holding his Blast Stone Do Blast Doyce Knight. He's level 35. He's a he's one of the strongest members of our team. Yeah, so I think this might be the point where we move on from Sharpedo. Because I mean Sharpedo has crunch. But do we need three water types? Like I, I hate to pass up the opportunity to have a Mega Blastoise on the team. So I'm, I'm very inclined to put Sharpedo back in the box and take Big Turt. There we go. There's Surf. I knew we were about to get it. Oh, you know what? We're about to get the Lapras. It's not a Lapras though. It, it's it's a random it's a random get. Yes, give me your Lapras. It's a Swinub. Okay. Route 12 encounter. I want grass. I don't want a water encounter. My water encounter has been super bad. Route 12. I don't even really want it. I'm just going to throw a ball at this thing. Just stand the ball. Cool, thanks. Hungry box. Is there an item down here? No, there's an item. Oh. Okay, now I want to find a Kangaskhan. This is the best mini game they ever added in Pokemon. What? Why couldn't it be the Swamperdite? Why couldn't it have been the Swamperdite? This route is nuts, except for its encounters kind of suck. I, I, I need a Dusk Stone, not a Moonstone. Alright, our first encounter here. And Azor Bay will be. Ah, eh, Purloin. Ah. Eh. All right. Its name is Hugh. We'll call back to X and Y or Black and White too. Oh, the team for acrobatics though. Oh, that's a good move. He's gonna give me something. Oh, the team for fly or HM for fly. That's super useful. We can go get, pick up some other encounters we've already missed. We just have to beat this gym to do it. I think. Let's go, let's move it. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. And we've officially made it to the Pokemon Center in Coomerine City. All right, so we're gonna stop right there. The next episode is gonna be very similar to this one. We are going to be covering a lot of ground. We're gonna be doing this gym. We're gonna be, I, I have the list right here of things we're gonna be doing in the next episode. So let me just remind myself of what it is exactly. Uh, we're gonna be ending with the Lumios City Gym next episode that's two gyms wait we're doing two gyms in the next episode so if you guys enjoy leave a like down below subscribe if you are new let us save this game real quick here pause that and my name is ethan this has been hardcap games and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace